Okay, lesson 16-3. The peanut gallery in the back. All right, 16-3. Last time we talked about um, circles. So here is my circle. If I'm talking about geometry, inside that circle or running through the circle are lots and lots of lines. There is a center, there's a center, my, my cameraman's going to the bathroom. There's a center dot right here, and that's gonna be the vertex of all of these lines coming in. And these lines are then gonna form our angles. So if I have a line coming in this way, and it intersects, with a line, intersects means to cross, it intersects with a line coming in this way, you can see that I've created, I'm gonna erase for a sec, so I'm gonna erase the rest of this line, but remember it's still there, it's still there with my black light, I can't see it, but it's still there. So I'm going to erase the rest of that line, and I'm going to erase the rest of this line. And now look what I created. I created an angle. So those two lines coming in, connected by this vertex, has created an angle. And when I measure that angle, what I'm measuring is the number of degrees between this line and this line. Okay? I can also measure at this point to here. And the tricky thing is I'm gonna get the same measurement. So even though this little curve looks bigger than, or smaller than this curve, it's actually the same number of degrees because it covers the same amount of the circle. It goes from this line to this line still. So now actually, these little arcs, like we call them arcs, these arcs should actually look like that because this angle is actually one fourth of the circle, one fourth of 360 is 90. Believe me, you can figure it out if you want. Do it right now on your paper, pause the video and do it. If you do 360 divided by four, you're gonna get 90. So here's my two lines coming through the circle, meeting up at the vertex, creating an angle that takes up one fourth of the circle. That is a 90 degree angle, okay? Let's say I continued this line again, and I wanna measure, so now, it looks like a line, and it is a line, but if you remember the definition of an angle, a definition of an angle are two rays that meet at a vertex. So watch. Here is a ray, and here is a ray. They meet at this vertex here. So if I measure this angle, because I have created an angle, it doesn't feel like an angle because it's a straight line, but it is an angle. Two rays connected by a vertex. That's the definition of an angle. So there's an angle. I'm gonna measure from this line around to here. And when I would measure that on a protractor, which you used with Mrs. Hummel, you would get 180 degrees. And if you look, it takes up half the circle. One half of 360 equals 180. So this angle is 180 degrees, okay? It's easy to see 180 degrees. It's easy to see 90 degrees. It's not as easy to see 
how much another angle might be. And in math, remember, we don't guess unless we check. So I can guess what that angle might be, but I need to check it. And how do I measure angles? I measure them with a protractor. And unfortunately, I do not have one here with me. But if you look at your um, packet, you will see an angle created with a protractor behind it so we can measure. So I'm gonna come up there to you. First, I'm gonna pick up my, my marker cap. Is, oh, I found it. can't fly off the markers. All right, I'm coming up here with you and I'm gonna use the camera person's pens. All right, my camera person left, so I can't tell what you can see. So I'm gonna kinda come over here with you and look behind you, okay? All right, so there's my first picture. Let me bring it down a little, there it is. There's my first picture. I'm gonna trace that angle with colored pens. Actually, I'm gonna do it with the marker because I think you'll see it better. So I'm tracing, you should be on page 263 of your packet. Okay, and there is my angle connected by the vertex M, and you can see here on my protractor, the line here, the ray, falls right on the zero degrees of my protractor. And then if I count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, there's 90, 100, 110, 120. So from here to here is 120 degrees. And that makes sense because 60 more degrees and I would get a, a straight line, 180. Okay, so the way that you measure is by looking here where the line, the ray, the bottom ray here, matches up with the zero. And then start at the zero and keep counting up the degrees. You can't look at this outside numbers, these outside numbers, because they're not starting at zero. They're starting at 180. So you'd be counting backwards. You don't wanna do that. You always wanna start at zero and count up. So you're using these inside numbers. The reason the numbers go both ways is because you can have an angle like this one down here where the line is on, the bottom line is on the left. And so then you would need to start over here, okay? So I'm gonna do a couple with you and then I'm gonna ask that you do page 264 by yourself. So let's look at number one on page 263. Okay, so here we are, number one on page 263. You can see it's a straight line. Here's my vertex. Here's ray one, y to z. This is ray y, z. Here's ray y, x. If you start at the zero over here, you count zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up and around, and you will get to 180. You could also start from this side and count zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way around and count this way. Either way will work on this one because it's a straight line. So I'm measuring from here around to here, and I get 180 degrees from ray to ray okay all right so up here for this answer you would put 180 degrees 
All right, let's do number two. I'm gonna give you a second to do it on your own. Take a look at it. You should be starting at ray N, M. So the vertex is N as in no. And you're starting at the ray N, M. And you're counting from zero up and around until you get to the ray N, O. Ha! N, O spells no. Okay. Check out what you get. And hopefully you all came up with, if you don't have the answer yet, pause the video because I'm going to give it. You should have 120 degrees. So let's count it out together. I'm going to find N, M. The protractor sits right on this line so that this, this ray, I'm sorry, so that this ray matches up with the zero. And then I start counting, zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, 100, uh-oh. What'd I do? Oh, there's 90, 100, I missed, 110, 120. So your answer should be 120 degrees. All right, let's do number three. I'm gonna move a little quicker, so if you need more time, pause the video. We are moving from ray S T, which lines up with the zero, and we are measuring up to ray S R. So count it out, and your answer should be, pause if you don't have it, because I'm gonna show it. Your answer should be 60 degrees. And that makes sense, because look where 90 is. That angle is smaller than 90 degrees. Remember, a 90 degree angle goes from here to here, making um, like a, a square in there. So that's smaller than 90 degrees. So if you got, if you looked up here and you saw the number 120 and you wrote that, I can see where you got it because 120 sits there, but that can't be right. You started from 180. You can never start with 180, you gotta start with zero. So come here and start zero and count up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? Let's do number four. Number four, we're starting with ray L, M, and we're counting up to ray L, K. I'm gonna put the answer pretty shortly, so if you need more time to figure it out, pause the video. All right, here I am, there's my bottom ray. My bottom ray is L, M, and I'm counting up to L, K. I'm gonna highlight that one for you. There's LK right here. So I gotta start at zero, not at 180, start at zero and count up zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is a 50 degree angle, okay? All right, I'm coming over here again. You can see me, because I know you miss me. All right, so your job, and you may have already done it, but your job, my cute people, is to do page 264 for um, your work tomorrow, okay? Actually, it's gonna be your work Wednesday, so you're probably watching this video on Wednesday. You need to do the work on Wednesday. And then what I will do is I will make another video that you can look at tomorrow with the answers on it. Okay, so you'll be able to check your work tomorrow and then email me with questions, okay? All right, so I keep saying today and tomorrow, that's confusing. Let's say Wednesday. This is Wednesday's work. Wednesday, you need to do 16.3, the homework portion. Okay, that's it for now. Um, oh, there, there's our camera person. Oh, tricky, that's a different camera person. It is not the same person. So um, you may email me with your 
guesses on who my camera person is. You already saw Nate, so I kind of don't think that's a good guess. Plus, Nate's hands are much bigger than the hand you are, are looking at. All right, that's it for me. I love you all. I miss you all. But it's kind of fun doing YouTube videos. I will have uh, some trick shots coming at you in the next video. Okay? All right, see you guys.